Namaskaram. Welcome to the course Basics of Electronics. In this video, we will be discussing on voltage sources in electronic industry. First, I'll be talking on what are voltage sources and why they are needed in electronic industry. Second one, what are the types of voltage sources and what is the core difference between them? Third, we will be looking into the major role of DC voltage sources in electronic industry. Fourth one, we will be talking on the three different means of deriving a voltage source. Last but not the least, we will be discussing on how to select a power supply for your project. So let's start. What are voltage sources and why they are needed in electronics? First of all, voltage sources are the electronic devices which will provide a constant or variable voltage at its terminal. This is the way in which we turn on or power up our electronic devices. Simply, they are a circuit which will provide a specific voltage that we want at their terminal so that we can connect our electronic circuit to them. There are majorly two types of voltage sources. One is AC voltage source, another one is DC voltage source. Voltage sources are very essential in electronics because these are the source from where we will get the power for our electronics. Say for example, if I want to turn on my mobile phone, there must be a voltage source which will power up my entire electronic circuit inside that mobile phone. Similarly, for every electronic device, there must be at least one voltage source which will power up that entire circuit. Without these voltage sources, it is just not possible to make our electronics function as per their design requirement. That's why voltage sources are very essential in electronic industry. Voltage sources can be used for controlling the brightness of an LED with a variable voltage control or maybe the speed control of a motor. Again, in previous video, we discussed how to control a speed of a motor or a brightness of LED by means of resistance, by means of inductance and this one by varying the voltage directly from the source that also can be used for controlling the speed of a motor or brightness of an LED. Types of voltage sources and the core difference between them. There are majorly two types. One is AC voltage source and the one is DC voltage source. AC stands for alternating current, DC stands for direct current. A DC voltage source is a power supply which is used for DC components. For example, mobile phones, transistors, resistors, LEDs or much more integrated circuits which are working on a DC voltage. Whereas AC voltage source is a power source which is used for AC appliances like our home appliances which are working on 230 volt AC directly. Most of the electronic components requires a DC voltage source that's why in electronic industry we prefer more of a DC voltage rather than AC voltage. And that is the reason why we convert AC voltage of 230 into a, you know plus 5 volt or plus 12 volt DC power supply. Voltage sources are further categorized into two types. One is constant voltage source, another one is constant current source. Regardless of the load capacity, if the voltage at the terminal of this power supply is being held constant by the circuit, then it is called a constant voltage power supply. Whereas if the current at the load terminal is held constant regardless of the load capacity, then it is called a constant current source. Based on the type of output available, there are other two types. One is fixed voltage source, another one is variable voltage source. In most of the electronic experiments and R&D centers, we will be using a variable DC voltage power supply, which is all about knob and changing the voltage at the terminal based on the requirement. Whereas the DC constant voltage source is a constant voltage terminal output without any change option. These are the basic types of voltage sources available in industry. The major role of DC voltage source in electronic industry. As I already mentioned, most of the DC components are nothing but integrated circuits or microelectronic components. They require voltage and current to start. Say for example, if we are turning on a LED, we need to provide a proper voltage and proper current to that particular LED to turn on. In most of the electronic circuits, this is how the entire electronic works. 
we have to provide a specific voltage and specific current to that particular circuit to start functioning. It is like we having a life within our body. That's how this entire body is functioning. We need to have a voltage source for providing a constant voltage and constant current for a specific circuits in case of a research and development equipments. Say for example, if we are trying to monitor and control the speed of a DC motor, then we have to have a power supply which is capable of supplying a specific voltage for a long period of time with a specific current rating that is necessary for that particular motor to start working. Engineers will use a fixed voltage source or maybe a variable voltage source based on the experiment or a research work they are conducting at their lab level. The DC voltage sources are used in a various forms and various form factor in industry with a variety of applications. For example, USB chargers, SMPS, drive controllers or motor controllers or most of the applications around us which is having a digital electronics within them. That's why the DC voltage source plays a vital role in electronic industry. Now let's talk about the three means of deriving a DC voltage source for electronic industry. First one would be a lab bench power supply. This is one of the most common and very essential component or equipment in every electronic industry R&D center. Say for example, if you are creating uh, any product for yourself using a digital electronics means, then you have to have this particular variable power supply in your lab. Or maybe wherever your product is being developed, there must be this power supply being used. It is so called a variable DC power supply because it has the ability to change the current and voltage rating at its terminal as per the requirement. Along with that, we also have uh, options like over voltage protection, over current protection, constant current option and constant voltage option. Second means of DC voltage source is SMPS. Switched mode power supplies are more widely used in AC appliances and home applications which are widely available in industry nowadays. They are a constant voltage and constant current specific devices which will provide you a constant current at the load level irrespective of the load capacity. SMPS modules are also used in research and development and field testing of real-time products. These modules are available off the shelf in the industry for any kind of a general applications with a specific voltage and specific current rating. The third mean of DC voltage power supply is batteries. We all know that emerging technology like electric vehicle having a batteries inside because of which we can drive motors of that particular vehicle. Batteries are nothing but a combination or arrangement of a cells in a specified way to achieve a desired voltage and current rating. Using these batteries, we can generate a specific DC current and specific DC voltage which can be used for powering up any electronic circuit. That's why batteries are the major reason why all our electronic devices are working portably. Be it a mobile phone, smartwatch, wearable Bluetooth devices or maybe any portable electronic gadgets, batteries play a vital role which will act as a power supply for entire electronic circuits within them. These are the three means from which we can derive a DC power supply for our electronic devices. How to select a specific power supply for your project design? For the sake of understanding, let us consider an example of designing a portable LED lamp. Assuming that these LEDs are white light LEDs with the having of 50 mA of current consumption at its peak. Say for example, we want to use a 10 LEDs in parallel so that we can get the enough brightness to eliminate the specific area that we are looking for. Since it is a portable, so we have to make sure that it is low power consumption. That's why we are selecting only 10 LEDs. Considering the whole circuit, each LED will consume 50 mA, hence the entire circuit consumes 500 mA as a minimum. Now looking at the data sheet of these LEDs, we identify that these LED works at 12 volt DC. So 12 volt DC and 500 mA is the minimum required power source for this particular design. In this case, we can use a various option. We can go with the variable power supply, we can go with the SMPS or we can go with the batteries. But which one is the most suitable? 
Again, we will remember our first point that is making a portable LED lamp. If we need to make it as a portable LED lamp, then Labbench power supply and SMPS doesn't make sense. That's why we have to go for batteries. So now how to select the batteries? Again, for that we need one more data that is all about what is our backup time. If we assume that 500 milliampere and 12 volt is the required voltage and current for this particular device or LED panel, then we want to illuminate this particular LED lamp for 3 hours after full charge. For that, at least we need 1.5 ampere hour battery capacity. However, with a factor of safety, I would like to go with a 2 amp hour battery capacity. Which means we have to arrange our cells in a such a way that we have to produce a 12 volt DC along with 2 amp power battery capacity. That's how entire power supply for this particular LED lamp can be designed. I hope you enjoyed the process of learning or knowing about the voltage sources in electronic industry. See you again in the next video. Until then, happy learning. Namaskaram.